Hey everybody. Um, okay, so I'm almost at my eight week mark. 30 pounds down, which is awesome. Um, come on. Talking to my cat. He acts like he wants to sit up there and then he doesn't. Come on. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> I'm almost eight weeks out. Um, and I gotta say that my stomach is feeling a little bit better, but I did kind of actually throw up today. I don't know what the hell happened. I hadn't thrown up in a long time. Ow! Jeez. Ow. He really likes to love me. This is my kitty here. Say hi. It's Floyd. He just pushed my arm into the, the chair. Ow! He loves to love. Okay, so. Um, eight weeks out, uh, 30 pounds down, sorry, I was taking like a nap today and I just kind of like woke up a half an hour ago, like later in the day, I don't know what the heck, both of us just fell asleep, I don't know what happened. Okay, so this video, I wanted to talk about some more foods that I have in my pantry and some things we actually got recently. Um, let's see here. What should I talk about first? Talk about the bad things and then the the better things that are for you. Um, I've had a few of these and my husband really likes them. Um, okay, they're not like the greatest thing that you should be eating, but if you want to eat some carbs, these are really good. Pringles makes a fat-free chip. Uh, the sour cream is the best one. They also have the original too, but then they had like a barbecue that, I don't know, was not good. I don't usually eat these. My husband actually likes to eat these. Um, maybe he'll make like a sandwich and he'll have like a little bit of these on the side. It's for one ounce, it's 70 calories, one protein. Not the greatest thing, but um, that one ounce is like a lot and it feels, feels pretty good for 70 calories. Um, so I just thought I'd let you know that they make fat-free Pringles now. Um, they're made with Olean, so that's why they're able to get them to be good for you. Another thing that you think, oh, this is bad for me, and you're probably right. <laughs> um, but my husband seems to tolerate them, but another friend of ours who got the surgery, he had them, and he, ow! He had them, and he, he his stomach kind of got upset, and I have a feeling that I'm going to be like him. Um, pork rinds. <laughs> My husband really likes them. So, um, let's see here. Uh, servings per container, six. Um, half an ounce, but they're really light. Um, so it's 80 calories and eight protein. So when you think about it that way, 80 calories, 8 protein, it's not that bad. It's crunchy. Uh, I don't know. It's just you think of pork rinds and you think of, oh, my God, that's not good. You shouldn't be eating that. Um, but if you look at it in terms of calories and protein, it's not bad. But I just know from, I don't know, I just, I'm looking at them right now and I'm not craving them. I'm just like, I, I think I had had a few before surging and they were, they were good. But I don't know. I'm just imagining eating them now, and just I don't know. I can't do like a lot of heavy things like that. They don't seem like they'd be heavy, but after a while, I think you can have just like a little bowl. Uh, but if you think you can take it, go for it. Um, next. Um, these are sweets. I know. I'm showing you all these bad things, but. You can't be eating all so many good things all the time, right? Um, but those are things I don't really eat. That's what my husband eats, and he he had surgery back um, back in July, and we're in uh, we're in uh, April now. So I guess he can have fun and yell at me for trying to have fun. Um, and we found these. We found these in the gluten-free section of our grocery store. We shopped at Stop and Shop. Um, he really loves coconut. And there are coconut macaroons. And two cookies is 30 calories and one protein. 
So 30 calories for two cookies. Only one protein. The 30 calories? It seems pretty good. It's called Alea's A World Without Gluten. A-L-E-I-A-S. Here's your them. And they're kind of, you know, a pretty good little size cookie. I thought I'd mention it. I'm not going to be eating them. Okay. Now on to the way better stuff for you. Okay. These have been popping up at grocery stores around me. This one's by Barber Foods. And it's a skinless piece of chicken breast. They do make breaded ones, so just kind of pay attention. And it's filled with broccoli and cheese. And so one of them is 180 calories with 24 grams of protein. Now, these are awesome. They're raw, so you have to like throw them in the oven and put them, eat them for like 45 minutes, I think. 35 minutes. And they're really good. Um, and I even have to say that the, they make one with stuffing, and with the stuffing one I notice, you know, more calories, less protein, because I think the cheese and the broccoli actually adds to the protein. But with the one with the stuffing, it's a little, the chicken's a little drier, and this one seems to be a little more moister because there's kind of like a cheese and broccoli inside, so... Really, like, seriously go and see if you can find these in your grocery store. They're really, really good. 180 calories, 24 protein, and there's broccoli and cheese inside. Really good. Um, and then, that's made by Barber Foods. And then there's another company called Coach. And they're doing something similar. And we just found these guys. Um, we had tried them before, and my husband really, really liked them. But then he couldn't find them anywhere else. I think we found this one at a super Walmart that was open 24 hours and we were just bored one night and we walked around and we found these. Um, these ones are 240 calories and 27 protein. Really yum yums. Look at how delicious they look. And they're just like little small, uh, 142 grams, two in a box. You know, try them out. They're really great to have. We don't want to cook anything, you know. Um, so that is it. I just wanted you to see some of these things that I treasure. <laughs> um, say hi. Say hi again. Oh. He's been all, uh, he's been all like, please love me, mommy. Please love me. Um, but yeah. Always trying to find variety. So I thought I'd share. I guess that's it. Bye, guys.